pancake very excited so first of all kitchen safety you're going to want to make sure to wash your hands so all right so now that my hands are washed we're going to start out with the dry ingredients so i'm going to go ahead and get out the all-purpose flour one fourth cups so get a bunch of them, go out. And then I'm going to put it into this small bowl right here. Now that it's even now, we put it in here. And that is the flour done. So now that we've got the flour, I'm going to go ahead and get our one fourth cup of sugar, which we have right here. All right, so next up is the one heaping teaspoon of baking powder. So since it's heaping, you know, it's going to go like this. We're not going to bother evening it up. Put that into this bowl, and that is that. Next up is the teaspoon of baking soda. This time it is not heaping, so we will be smoothing it out. It's pretty even. Nine, four, two, yes. Bowl. Next up is the pinch of salt, so we're going to pour it, some salt into this spoon. So, cool little trick before saving you some time if you crack open a bad egg and a really bad smell. Um, what you want to do is you want to get a bowl full of water, like so, and your egg, and you put it into the water. And as you can see, it sank to the bottom. So bad slash expired eggs will stay afloat. And obviously you don't want to use those for several reasons. So make sure your eggs float to the bottom. Now after that egg tip, it's time for the egg. So we're going to crack it open and then move the remnants into this bowl. And then there we go. Look at that. Good egg. And then there we go, egg cracked. So next up, uh, we've got our uh, buttermilk. Bam. So now, uh, pour in the buttermilk. And of course we'll add this to the dry ingredients after we make the well. So now we got our cooking oil, which is going to be a fourth of a cup. So now we are going to add all of our dry ingredients into one bowl. You will now sift. So as such, we're going to pour it into this and then I will tap it into the bowl where the dry ingredients will go. Voila. So now into the liquid ingredients will be going our egg. Now with the egg in the liquid, I will begin whisking it. So now I'm going to be making a well into the dry ingredients. Pretty simple. So now I'm going to stir with the fork about 30 times. So now I'm going to go ahead and ready up my batter for the cooking. So now I've got a preheat, pretty simple, just turn on the oven, move it to about four, at least in our case. So just one thing I want to add real quick, um, if you use uh, cooking spray it will not taste as good as butter because well I mean it's butter but it will save you calories so if you want a pancake but you want it to be just a little bit a little bit healthier you're gonna want to use this stuff All right, so uh, here are the uh, pancakes. All very nice, all very good. 
Um, so now I'm going to turn it to my parents who I'm serving to host them as a very gracious host. So first of all, dear dad, mm -hmm. what would you like to drink? I'll have a Diet Dr. Pepper. Okay. And what would you like, dear mom? Filtered water, please. Filtered water, please. With no uh, lemon. You need to learn some manners, dad. Okay. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Help us to survive this, we pray. Thank you for Caleb. Thank you for giving him to us. He's such a blessing. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, Dad, what, what, how how are they? Well, the presentation was lacking. <laughs> the um, texture was good. Taste is phenomenal, delissimo. I'm just glad to know if something happens to your mama, I will, I will survive because you know how to cook pancakes. <laughs> yeah. So my dad devoured these in like less than like a minute and a half, Miss Pittner. So yeah. Well. <laughs> that didn't look good. Fluffiest, lightest. <laughs> yeah, you heard that here first, Miss Pinner. Oh, that's pretty good too.